So that's where we are, the domain. Can anyone give us the domain of this function? Anyone? Are there any potential problems with this? Do we have square root? Do we have 1 over x minus 1? Any potential problems or anything goes? What do you think? Anyone? What is the domain of a polynomial function? No problems ever with polynomials, like linear function, quadratic function, there is never a problem. Always the domain of a polynomial function is all real numbers. Okay. I already have zero, zero. I already have two, zero. And I make my notes, cross, cross, but flat or slow. There is no need to uh, determine the y-intercept because I already have it. <laughs> when x is zero, y is zero already. But I have to determine the end behavior. And it's all based on the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is negative two. So this is an even degree. And the leading coefficient is negative. What is the end behavior of this function? And the answer is negative infinity back to negative infinity. And I'm done. These two will be determined in a minute with the graphing calculator and then the range. We have to look at it. Okay. We are ready to graph. You can say what? Yep. That's all we need. You can find as many points as you want. You can put in negative two, negative one. You can put one, three, four, five, as many as you want. No need. But of course, it's up to you. Okay, I'm trying to make sense of the information I see here. And my table says that at zero, the function will cross slowly. At two, the function will cross straight. And it's coming from negative infinity, going up to this point where it's zero and it's crossing flat. Remember we said that the uh, maximum possible number of turns is three. No more than three turns. Okay, so it's coming from negative infinity crossing flat at zero. Not straight, crossing flat it has to have a turn because it comes back and crosses straight towards negative infinity. So it has to have a turn. I don't know where the turn is, but it's crossing straight and going to negative infinity. That's the graph. Do I know this detail? I don't. In a moment we will find out. So this is the graph of f of x, negative 2x to the fourth plus 4x cubed, and I know that the function goes to negative infinity. I, ha I know that there is a local max in here somewhere. I will find out with a graphing calculator. So I need to determine this point and its coordinates. I get my calculator, if I can reach it or find it. Yes. I had difficulties with this. I'm gonna try and use it again. I think I I damaged it with that water yesterday it didn't work and I did get another one but I want to just give it one more try so negative 2 x to the fourth plus 4 x to the third and I will adjust the viewing window because I'm really only interested in maybe negative 
5 to 5, uh, negative 10, a negative 2 to 10. I'm going to adjust the viewing window. I have the graph. I know how it looks like. So go to window, negative 5 to 5. Scale of 1 is fine. Minimum, negative 2, that's good enough. And I'll leave 10 as the maximum and see what happens because I don't know how high this is. It may be higher. It may be lower. So now I want a graph. And here it comes. Ah, I didn't even need to go that far. And of course, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in. You can zoom in or readjust. So I'm going to readjust to negative 3 to 3. And negative 2 is fine, but 5 is good enough. And now I have a better picture of the graph. I see that this is a slow cross, multiplicity 3 at this point. I know it reaches a maximum, and this is the absolute maximum and local maximum. And then straight cross at 2, see the difference between these two, multiplicity 3, multiplicity 1. In order to determine this maximum, I go to second and calc. Maximum is number four. It's asking us, the calculator is asking us, okay, give me some limits between what and what you want me to calculate. So the left bound is zero. I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to consider the right bound two. So I put two and enter. And as you see, there are some limits here where the calculator will find the maximum. And now it says, uh, it's asking me for a guess. I don't want to guess. I press enter again, and I get the maximum to be at 1.5, and the maximum is 3.375. So this point is 1.5, 3.375. So I go back to my table, and I put it in as 1.5, um, 3.375. This is the local max and absolute max. Now it's very clear that the range is from negative infinity to 3.375. And that is it. How do you feel about uh, graphing um, polynomial functions? They are a little bit more sophisticated than uh, quadratic or linear, but pretty much the same idea. I I, pretty straightforward. Good. Of course, my graph is not perfect, but I knew that it was going to have a flat cross here. I knew it was going to have a straight cross here. I knew the end behavior. I could not determine in this class, you have to wait till calculus. If you take calculus, you'll be able to determine this point without a calculator. Okay, I think we should look now at a um, odd degree. This was an even degree. Let's look at an odd degree. If anyone would like to choose, I'll be happy. From the same page, look at problems 41 through 64, and then I would like to look at a model, a word problem. If anyone would like to choose, or I will. Will anyone um, try to choose a odd degree now? Which, um, I know we're on page... Yes, so it's 41 through 64, yeah. and the page is 378. An odd degree. Let's do 57. 57. Three, four, five, six. It's degree six. Two, four, x squared. Three, four, x cubed. And one, x. Two plus three is five. Plus one is six. 57 is degree six. We want to choose an odd one. We can do that after, of course. What 
level 64. Good one. I was just looking at it. Awesome. f of x equals x plus 3, x plus 1 to the third, x plus 4. So this is 64. Well done. Indeed, this is degree 1, this is degree 3, and this is degree 1. 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5. Very good. How many x-intercepts? Very good. Awesome. Now, it took me, I don't know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes to explain all this. Now it will take us three minutes to do the whole thing. Domain, obviously, no discussion there. Maximum terms. Possible. Half possible. How much? Four. Very good. Awesome. Good. So now let's find the x and y intercepts and the end behavior. Since it's an odd degree, what is the leading coefficient? One. A degree positive leading coefficient has to look like this, like the linear function with a positive slope from negative to positive. Good. We only need the x and y intercepts. So for um, f of zero, which is the y intercept, I need some calculations. 0 plus 3 is 3. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 to the third is 1. I shouldn't even write it. 0 plus 4 is 4. So times 4, this is 12. 0, 12. And finally, the x intercepts and their multiplicities. So for f of x equals 0, so this is for the x intercepts. I have x plus 3, I have x plus 1, x plus 4 equals 0. And as you said, degree 5, I have to have 5 solutions. Can anyone dictate 5 solutions? Yeah, we have negative 3. And multiplicity, since we are here. Multiplicity 1. Very good. And then we have, uh, is that a negative one? Multiplicity. Three. Very good. And x equals negative four. Multiplicity. One. Is one plus three plus one the degree five? Because if yeah. one plus three plus one is not five, something is terribly wrong. Yes. Yes. So both multiplicity is one. How will the function behave? What will the function do? at those intercepts because multiplicity is 1. What will it do? It will cross. Very good. Normal cross. What will it do at negative 1? Slow cross. Slow cross. That's it. That's all we need here. We're done. So I promised five minute, three minute situation. We are ready to graph it. I will use, because these are so close to each other, we try to use a wider unit. So let's say one, two, three, four, and five. I don't need the five, but you know what I mean. But on the y-axis, um, because it's 12 and I don't have enough, I'm gonna say two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Obviously at negative four, and negative three, and negative one. And now let's see what the chart or table is telling us to do. So the table says this. Oh, yeah, I have everything in there. Good. Come from negative infinity and cross. Fine. 
coming from negative infinity and I cross normally. But in order to come back and cross again, it has to have a term. And remember, we cannot have more than four. Okay, is it a normal cross? A normal cross. Now, it has to have another term. The second term must be here because it has to come back at negative one and cross slowly. Okay, do I know how high? No, I don't know how high. I don't know how low, but this is it for sure. Okay, I have to turn here because I have to come back at negative one. It cannot cross straight like here. It has to be slow. Slow meaning this. This is slow. Not like these two. Then I don't know what it's doing, but I just want to caution you that every time I'm going to, I'm going to come back to this. Every time we graph a polynomial function, if I have to graph something and I, I twist my, my wrist to graph it, and I do this and I do that, something is not good. It has to be something very smooth. Then my pen or marker will go smooth. If I have to twist, so what I'm saying with this comment is you can say, how do you know that it's not going to turn here? How do you know that it's turning here? How do you know that it's crossing and turning somewhere else? Right? Or is just going straight. So I don't think that this function, we just picked it, I haven't looked at it. I don't think that this function will turn again. I think that this is going to be the case. And you can say, but it only has two terms. Yes, but this is the maximum possible. It doesn't have to turn four times. It can turn only twice. It's coming from negative infinity and it's going to positive infinity. And that's it. So this is the graph of f of x. Yes, we need to determine this point. Yes, we need to determine this max, lo local max, local min. We know that the range of this function is everything. So the range is very clear. Negative infinity to infinity. And the function was uh, x plus 3, x plus 1, x plus 4. There are a few things that are not, where's my calculator? So there are a few things that are not um, super, super clear um, in this, uh, in algebra, because we don't have what I have with my students in calculus to show you more details of this. Okay, so let's punch it in, in y equals, clear the previous function, and be careful with parentheses, x plus 3, parentheses, x plus 1, parentheses, caret, power 3, and then come down from there. I don't know how what calculator you have. Okay, and now I'm going to, uh, I see, I see the viewing window. It should be um, negative 5 to 2, or 3, negative 5 to 3. I don't know here. It's iffy. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe negative 10 to 20. It has to pass to 12. So window, negative uh, five, I didn't mean that. Hold on. Okay, negative five to two. Scale of one is fine. How low should I go? I don't know. I'm gonna say negative 10 for now. And why, uh, no, that was the scale, sorry. Negative uh, 10 for now and uh, definitely uh, 20. I will adjust it later with a scale of, um, I don't know, four. And now I graph. It's coming as expected. It's coming as expected from negative infinity. It's crossing at negative four. It has a turn. It's crossing at negative three. It has a turn. Much lower than I graphed it, that's, but that's fine. We didn't know that. Uh, we can adjust the graph later. I don't care for that. As long as you determine all these points, I'm fine. As you see, the cross here is very different than these two. It's, it's a flat cross. 
it's very clear that it crosses at 0, 12. And it's very clear that it's going all the way to infinity. What I need to determine is the maximum between negative 4 and negative 3 with second and calc. I determine a maximum, which is a 4, between negative 4 and negative 3. And I make sure that the limits are exactly where I want the calculator to give the maximum. Yes, they are. I don't want to guess. Press enter and press enter again. And I get the maximum. Even the calculator I needed a little bit of time. So this is negative 3.63 comma 4.24. Go back to my table. I didn't leave enough room here. So it's kind of easy, difficult to squeeze it in, but I will. So negative 3.63 and 4.24. And this is a local max. Now I have to find a local min. And I know it's between negative 3 and negative 1. Second and calc. This time I want a minimum, which is a 3. And I want between negative uh, 3 and negative 1. Negative 3, enter. Negative 1, enter. Yes, it's exactly where I wanted it. I don't want to guess. Enter. Give me the minimum. It's at negative 2.37 comma negative 2.64 again I didn't plan ahead properly so this is at negative 2.37 negative 2.64 and this is it we do not need anything else